Hey guys, this is Steel okay Gaming here, back with another scripting tutorial. And today is actually going to be a little bit different. I have um, done a request from uh, one of the comment sections. So he asked how to make, or she, sorry. But here she asked how to make a Kamehameha from, I believe, Dragon Ball Z. Or something like that. It's an anime. <laughs> but he wanted to see a tutorial on it, so... I will, um, I guess, since I have nothing else to do, I will do that. Now, I'm going to be running through some very advanced things today as well. So just be very, yeah, just, so just be warned. If you don't get any of it, just, you know, remember, leave the comment section below. I'll see if I can answer them as if I can. But basically, my plan was to create a tool that will basically activate the attack. And I have done that right over here. Now, if you put this in the workspace over here, you you can see, sorry, you can see that it's, well, invisible. And the reason for that is because in this animation handler, this is going to be the first thing I'll be covering today, just to show you um, what, uh, how this works. So, I am not going to get into this db equals false yet. Um, I will do that at the end. But this is going to be just the main, this is basically what I did. So first, I used the dot activated event for, um, sorry, for the tool. And basically what activated does is basically when the player has this tool equipped and he clicks on the screen or taps if you're on uh, mobile, then this will happen, whatever is inside will happen. And this is what I did. Now, you know how it's invisible, right? Well... This, the first thing that is going to happen is make it, well, visible. And after that, um, it's going to grow in size, just like, just like in the anime. So this is the script, which basically says, for t um, 20 times, grow this uh, ball by 0 0.04 studs 20 times, as fast as you can. That's why this weights with nothing inside is here. Then after that, it's going to become invisible again and reset. So it's ready for the next attack. So basically what this does is just grows the ball and then just makes it disappear again. And you know, once you click again, grows the ball, disappears again. Now the next thing is this animation part over here. You've seen this in my previous video where I made an, well, animation. And basically this is the animation that does that, you know, the whole arm swing and then it, you know, pushes through into the air. So, I can actually show you right now what that looks like. Please note that everything I did in here was pretty much all made on my own. So, you know, just just so you know, I actually took quite a bit of time on this. Oh, my bad. I am so sorry. We shall put that in starter pack. Now, for this model in which I'll put this into, um, yeah, I'll put this on my profile. So you can actually play play with it, you know, you can also, um, you can download it and edit things for yourself. But basically, you can see that I have my tool right here, and whenever I click on the screen, you can see, you know, I do that thing, and then it, boosh, you know? So basically, this animation I made by myself, you know, I don't want to brag to any of that. Um, the damage thing I'll cover in a bit, I have a lot to cover here. But as you can see, this is the animation playing. And, hold on, let me do it again. You can see that this ball grows and then instantly turns invisible. Now, of course, I will uh, tell you why in just a little bit. But just notice how the ball gets bigger and disappears. And then it, it already starts small. That is why I reset it in the script over here. This is, how, this is basically resetting it right over here. Now, the next thing I'm going to show is this attack right over here. And this is basically where all the damage happens, all right? This is the ball that will be used whenever um, someone attacks. And inside this attack, there are two scripts, damage and this script that basically makes the ball bigger, which I think I've covered before, but this time it just grows well, increasingly big, and then after that, it disappears, just to prevent lag. Of course, you know, it gets pretty far before any, before, um, it disappears, so no, you know, error should be done. Then is this damage script here. Now, of course, since this is, you know, open source, I've 
made a setting where you can choose actually how much damage you can do. But basically, this is the hit function. You might have seen this in my, um, you know, lava, lava uh, brick tutorial. But basically, um, just to, you know, give you a refresher, this is, this, whatever is in here activates or happens when this ball, so the attack ball, touches something. So, uh, and the target is, are these dummies, or in other case, players. So, that's why we have this if hit.parent colon five for shadow humanoid. It's basically saying, if is, if the thing that was hit is part of a player, then, you know, do damage. Now, this part is, I'll see if I can explain this as well as I can. When I, when I clone this ball, because whenever I do the animation, the reason why it disappears is because it clones another ball, which will carry on with the animation. So this is the ball that will actually be cloned. And when this ball is cloned, its, will, its name won't be attack anymore. It will be the player's name, the person who summoned the attack. And the reason why for that is for this. Oh, sorry. It's for this uh, line right here. It's basically saying, if the person that got hit is the player who summoned it, that's why, you know, hit the parent name is equal to script parent name, then do nothing. But if it is someone else, then, you know, deal damage to it. And I will show you right here. Oh, uh, yeah. I am terribly sorry. Skip forward 10 seconds. But anyways, here as a demonstration. So, the attack part of it is, of course you can see, I'm growing the ball. And you can see that this big ball just shoots out. And that is actually the attack right over here. If you can see from the explorer, you can see attack right here. And basically, if I open up the workspace right over here, and I, sorry, and I do it, you can see that I create something called Dynamic Steel Kid. And then, of course, it disappears. Dynamic Steel Kid is actually just attack, but I made a script that changes the name. So I did that once again because whenever I do the animation, you, not, you can't really see it, but it actually does touch my player over here. And from the script, whatever it touches, it deals damage to. So that's why I um, I made a, I made that script so that it doesn't damage me, but it damages other people as well. So that's actually all. Actually, ooh, I almost for forgot the most important part, and that is down here. This is where all the cloning happens. So basically, this is where the attack gets spawned. So of course, game no re replicate source attack colon clone. I believe I covered that in a video long ago, but basically this just clones the uh, attack ball. Then, of course, I set it to workspace because if you do not do this, then it's just not going to happen. Then the next is I change the name. That's why you see dynamic steel kit on it and not attack. Then I did attack dot position is where the handle is because when I'm doing the animation, of course, I know it is not exactly the smoothest, but at least it it starts in the same place. So that's why it's put in a handle dot position because handle is really that first ball that gets grown. Then after that, this is one of the most advanced parts of this um, tutorial, but I will run you through a do not worry. I am going to get you through this part. But basically this is saying attack dot velocity, all right? I think that should be pretty self-explanatory. It's just where the ball shoots. That's why the ball shoots, you know, like straight in front. Now, you're now, of course, velocity. I'm just setting a new value to it. But then you're probably wondering, well, what's this? What, what's look vector? Well, look vector is pretty much the direction the ball shoots, in other words. In other words, um, just the vector, pretty much. Or the, yeah, the direction the velocity will go. So I'm just saying that C frame, or basically position. So I'm going to base the velocity off the handle C frame. So let's say, um, imagine the handle, all right? Imagine the handle is there is facing this way, okay? So it's facing this way, down over here. 
So, be, um, the look vector for this would be, well, this way, right, right, you know, dead on straight. So that is pretty much what look vector is. It just shows the direction of which something would go if this was changed into velocity. And then, of course, I did that multiplied by 1,250, which basically means just shoot it really fast. I don't think that should be very complicated. This just says how fast it goes. I did the same for Z because you need both positions or else it would just go one way. And it's going to be one of those like crappy guns that only shoot one way. Then this is 0 0.5 over here. This is the Y. Now, because if you see in my animation, I actually shoot slightly upwards, which means that the look vector will go slightly upwards. And you don't want your attacks going over someone, right? So that's why I put the 0 0.5 here so it will be straighter. Now, after all of that, we finally have this DB over here. This is basically the reload. So this says just, you know, DB equals false, pretty self-explanatory. And DB equals false, then DB equals true. This is basically saying once it is activated for, once it is activated one time, turn it to true so you can't activate it again. But then after here, after you wait 2 seconds and 0 0.4 seconds, it changes it so that, well, you can do it again. So basically, this Kamehameha has a reload of 2.4 seconds. So once you put all of that together, you get the final result, which, of course, I will run you through one more time, just in case. But first of all, I do the animation, and the ball grows, as you can see right there. Now, of course, notice how I shoot slightly upwards. That is why, that is why of course, I put the negative 0.5 in the Y. After that, you can see that the ball shoots. You can see, of course, I know it does drop at one point, but that is one of the sacrifices you do have to make. If you don't want it to drop, then just um, make that multiplier higher for the look vector. So instead of 1,250, you can maybe put 3,000 or 5,000, even 10,000, anything you like. But then after that, you can see when it hits something like this dummy with 500 HP, it gets absolutely annihilated. As you can see, its health goes all the way down. And that is because, well, it didn't just touch the head over here. It touched the torso, touched the arms, you know, all of that. Kind of like, you know, how something in real life, if it hits your arm, oh, no, you know, no biggie. You, you're probably still going to live. But if it hits your torso and your head and your arms and your legs, well, yeah, you're, you're pretty much dead. So that's what that, you know, hit, you know, dot touched uh, event does. So, and one more thing is that the attack is, can collide is off. And the anchored is also off. If the anchor was off, then velocity, yo, it wouldn't go anywhere. But can collide is off so that you can actually hit multiple at once. And if I aim correctly right over here, and I shoot, boom, you just annihilated four dummies at once. And that's because, you know, can collide, it doesn't, you know, bonk dummy one in the head. No, it goes one, dummy one to this dummy to this dummy to this dummy. And of course, because it was pretty much a full on attack to all of them. They all got annihilated. So yeah, I hope um, I've covered a few things in this way. Now, please note that this did take me a little bit to um, work on. So of course, you know, just, yeah, appreciate it. Maybe, maybe subscribe, you know, maybe, you know, consider it. But other than that, I hope this helps you in some way, you know, enjoy your day. I really hope this helps that, that whoever person who commented, you know, just trying to make the world go around. But anyways, have a nice day, good luck scripting, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!